today on Divorce Court. My husband and I, we've been together for five and a half months, and we have yet to consummate the marriage. I get tired of her keep talking about having sex. She acts like life is, is just about all sex. You know, I do the best I can. I take care of her and everything else, but you know, it's just the sex problem. You know, we gotta deal with that. It makes me feel all alone. He doesn't want to talk about it. He doesn't want to deal with it. So I basically have to deal with it on my own. She wants this hugging, touching, feeling, all this emotional stuff, and that's, that's not me. If I was to show that, I would feel like I'm getting weak. I need the judge to tell Kevin that he needs to take care of his wife emotionally, physically, and mentally. Divorce Court is now in session. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Teresa Hunter and Kevin Hunter, Mr. and Mrs. Hunter. You've been together five years, but only married five months. And we're in trouble already. You're looking for me, you've come here to get some advice, you have, uh, you don't have any children together, but you both have older children from previous relationships. I'm gonna start with you, Mrs. Hunter. Why don't you tell me what's going on it's so early in this marriage and why you're here to talk about it? We've been married for five months now, and our marriage has yet to be consummated. Mm. Yes. Every time I mention sex, or I try to rub on him or massage him. He tells me that he's not having any sex and that if I want it bad enough, I can go out there in the street and get it. Oh. Mr. Hunter, you didn't say that, <laughs> did you? Yana, um, I just feel that if it's that important, then I just feel maybe she should find somebody that can do, you know, do the things I can't. Yeah, okay. Mr. Hunter, first of all, I want to say this. I don't ever make a man defend or work on this issue if he don't want to, because it's very delicate. But I'll give you an opportunity to do so if you want to. If you want to wave it on, I'll walk on with you. Okay? Yes, ma'am. The question is: During the five years we're together, were you ever intimate? Yes. 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 It was. So wonderful. as the years have gone on, there have been difficulties that have increased. Yes, ma'am. And I understand you're diabetic. Yes. And which which uh, contributes to the problem. You understand he's having a physical disability there? And I that understand he has that, issues? Your Honor, but he's not trying to do things to get that fixed. Oh, he's not as addressing As far it. as trying to go to the doctor, trying to eat right, he's not trying to do any of that. Ooh, Mr. Hunter. Are and you, it's not Are you even... accepting the condition and not working to make it better? I was a drug user. Right. Since I was 14 years right? old, I used all kind of drugs. Right. Okay, and I just felt maybe my body is weighing, weighing down. It's okay. a tear on my body. Mr. Hunter, we've all done bad things to our mm. body. You may have done more bad things to your body than most of us, but it's never too late to get healthy. It's never too late to get the diabetes under control. It's never too late. It's never too late to eat right. You always have an opportunity to live a life that is healthier today and, in so doing, satisfy your wife. So what about the fact that, okay, I understand that, but what about the fact that when I try to hold his hand or if I just try to cuddle with him, he has knocked me off of him and told me to get away from him because he felt like I was trying to get sexual, right. which I probably was. Was. Wait, well, <laughs> then, you know, yeah. But, and but, so he's knocked me off of him. Mm -hmm. yeah. Are you concerned that any affection that she shows you is an effort to get, have sex as opposed to simply be comfortable and intimate? I have a problem with the touching and feeling and stuff like that. I never had to go through that. I never had to go through no. that. That's a very interesting way to put it. Well, because the touching and the feeling and the holding and the hugging, that's a good thing. She's a good woman. Right. She's, I'm not taking that from her, but my my women or my what would you call past it? Women. Past women. Yeah. <laughs> Thank right. you. She made sure you got that right. <laughs> oh, my past women. I didn't have to go with the touching, the kissing, the 
and all that. You know, this is something new to me. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to learn, but right. she won't give me time to learn. Right. She want me to learn it right now. Yeah. And I you want to get acclimated. I you have to learn take time. How, I have to learn how to touch and feel. Yeah, and, I understand. I understand. And, I understand. You know, um, He's not the, used to physical demonstrations of love and affection. Are you cognizant of that and, and, and taking him at a speed that allows him to come along comfortably? Five years? Well, <laughs> you got a point there. Yeah. <laughs> I can't argue with that. Are you trying to be, be a different guy than you used to be? I have to blame some of it on my job. I have a stressful job. And <laughs> you just have a litany yeah. of excuses. Yes, yes I, he's I got mean, like, which one am I yes, gonna pick exactly. now? I just, I just. What's happening with the job? I mean, I'm a roofer, and I do a lot of strange uh, muscle lifting, and I got a so lot. Of, now listen, don't throw roofers under the bus. I have. A don't lot. say roofers can't have sex. What's, oh, I don't no, know how no. one thing goes to the other. It's just that. I'd be tired, you know? Sometimes I'd be tired, sometimes I don't feel like it. And it always catches her in the mood, I guess. But he's not tired enough to look at other women. Oh. Wow. Do you, do you have enough energy for that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm not a horse. I don't have blinders. Right. I mean, that's... So blinders. you look? Yes, I mean, sir, do you look? Baby, no, don't give leave me Joe ass. <laughs> leave Joe alone. Tell her about Joe the got a good woman. marriage. He don't want to hear none of that. Tell her about the hoochie woman. The who? The hoochie woman. Oh my lord. Here's a time I'm in the store, and I laugh with a guy, and she freaks out because she think I'm looking at a woman that came in the store. I seen the lady from outside. You weren't looking. No. I've seen Can her I from outside? outside. I sense we're going into trust issues, so I do want to switch gears and, and ask you, do you trust them? And if not, why not? I mean, when she get angry and upset, she start throwing things. She picks up lamps, <laughs> throwing them at me. She even took her, her sex toy one time and tried to hit me in the head with it. You know what I mean? She just, she, she just gets upset. She gets... <laughs> Do you think he's looking at other women? Do you really think that? Or, or the issue's something completely different? I think what the issue may be is the fact that my husband doesn't look at me, OK? I get dressed up in sexy gowns, sexy outfits. He looks every direction except for me, OK? Uh, he's yeah. not sexually turned on by me. Mm -hmm. So when we're out in the street and I find him looking at other women, It that's makes kind you feel yes. like he's peculiarly or not interested in you. Exactly. Mr. Hunter, let me say this. You say in these papers that she's loud and she can be angry and aggressive. Do you think that that at all plays in your lack of affection for her? Um, not exactly, but do you think you can look at a woman or feel some type of way when you don't understand what's coming at you next. I mean, when she get angry and upset, she start throwing things. She picks up lamps, <laughs> throwing them at me. She even took her, her sex toy one time and tried to hit me in the head with it. You know what I mean? She just, she, she just gets upset. She gets, <laughs> you know, I, I am laying, never gonna live that image down. I was laying in the bed, she took a, um, a one of them plastic, ice things and smashed me in ash the face. Tray. No, it wasn't an ashtray, it was a thing of ice. Ice tray, no? It was a cup with ice in it. Oh. And we was laying there messing around in the dark. I was calling myself trying to foreplay, you know, a little rough. Ew. But she wasn't going for it. She just, He just wasn't know. doing it right. He knows how I like it. Now, wait a minute. We've all been claiming he's not touching and he's oh, not Oh, that sexy, was three years ago. But uh, that was a few years ago. Yeah, that was three years ago. Three years ago. Mm -hmm. And you didn't like the way he was coming at you, so you popped him in the head. 
He knows how I like it. Yes. And another thing, she always said, it's just like being, just two women being in the bed. <laughs> you actually said that? I have. I, it's not right, but I have said that. <laughs> I have. <laughs> You know, you're that. working against your own self-interest here. You know what I mean? You're trying to get more sex, and then you get him in the head with the ice, and all of that is working against you. You do know that, right? Yes. I love her, and I want this marriage to work. I need help. I'm not gonna lie. I got it. I need help. I don't know how to treat a woman like this. Right. Because of my lifestyle. My mom died, I was six, and... I was raised and I was taught from the streets. Right. And all of my life, the love, the sympathy and different things like that, I could never give because of my heart. My heart is cold. That's not love. Right. You know, I felt if you show love and sympathy for somebody, you're weak. Right. From 14 to 48, that's been my life. Right. I didn't ever tell her everything about my life, but she knew I was in gangs, I was in the street. All that's past, but it's still here. Still living in there. Yes. I guess I just need help, counseling. I got you. you know, I got team. you. I'm with you. First of all, let me tell you this. You wouldn't have said what you just said to me if you had no heart. It's there. It may be, you know... Um, it may never have been nurtured. It may never have been shown love, but you have it to give because I see, I see what you said and I see how you said it. We just have to get you around to being able to fully accept it and express it. And that's what we're gonna do. I've been through so much and you know it. I've tried talking to you about the death of my baby and there's times where all the time you always blow me off and tell me you don't wanna talk about it and that's life and get over it. Would you remain committed to a sexless marriage? Tell us what you think at facebook.com slash divorce court. Divorce court will be right back. Mr. Hunter has exposed his heart, not only to you, but to everybody. And I want you to expose your heart to him. You have gone through a great deal in life yourself. Tell him the things that have hurt you and the things that he needs to nurture it to help you get over. I've been through so much, and you know it. I've tried talking to you about the stillborn birth, the death of my baby, and there's times where all the time you always blow me off and tell me you don't want to talk about it, and that's life and get over it. Then I went through the situation with my uncle last year where his work truck exploded and he, he died. And I needed you to go with me to the family home where everybody was meeting up at and you told me you weren't going over there because everybody was crying and everybody was depressed and damn if you wanted to be a part of that, that hurt me as well. Then, a few months ago, I had a cancer scare where um, I had went for a breast mammogram. And they called me a few days later and told me that it was abnormal. And so I had to go back the following week and get a second test done. I needed him at that moment. I needed him to go with me to the appointment. He more or less told me he was going to work. I ain't going to that D appointment. So that was another situation where I was just left all alone. Stranded. Stranded. Well, how can she look as beautiful as she look if I don't work? You take good care of me. You do. You know. He takes financially. Being a man has nothing to do with, go with, with what mm -mm. goes on from the waist down, either in front or in your wallet. That's, that has nothing to do with being a man. Being a man is right here about how you hold up and hold down the people that love you. And even when it requires you to do something that's difficult for you, you to do, that's the thing you need to do the most. You with me? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma he definitely takes good care of me financially. Viagra can't do it. 
a big fat wallet can't do it. Mm -mm. It's an open heart and a willingness to go someplace That's where right. you're uncomfortable and sit in that discomfort until your woman is comforted. That's it. That's all. You with me? Yes, ma'am. What would you do if your partner was emotionally unavailable? Share your opinion on Twitter and Instagram at Divorce Court. Divorce Court will be right back. I like you, Mr. and Mrs. Hunter. I like you both a great deal. If you could have one gift from him, one specific, don't be amorphous. You gotta be solid. Men like a small, hard target. What one gift would he need to give you to say, yeah, that has value to me? He needs to learn to show more compassion and not be so Every arrogant. Sunday at 2 p.m., you're gonna hold her hand for five minutes. That's and talk to, one. and listen to what she has to say to you. You're gonna hold her hand, and you're gonna ask her what's going on with her, and then you're gonna listen. And then what you're gonna do is engage in a conversation with her about it. Ask her how it went, why it was. Don't tell her what she did wrong. Don't tell her what she should have done. Don't tell her the advice that you need. Just ask her how she feels, and what she wants, and what she did. Well, how did that make you feel? All of that, we love that. Hard target, something he can do. He has to learn to be uncomfortable in his emotions. And after he learns to be uncomfortable in his emotions for a while, he'll be able to go there more frequently. You with me on that yes, one? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. You see what I'm yes, saying? Yes, Your Honor. Hard target, something you need from her. One thing that I could, that she can make a gift of to you today, what would it be? <laughs> to keep her mouth quiet. <laughs> <laughs> And now, Mrs. Hunter, no. did you see how quickly he came up with that? And that was very concrete. And let me tell you, some women mistake crazy for strength. Do you know what I mean? The louder I get, the more wild I get, the more loose and unruly I get, the stronger I feel. That exactly the opposite is occurring. You're demonstrating fear and lack of control. You know, when you're really capable, when you're really controlled, you don't have to say much at all. He don't want to hear all that mouth. Okay. You know what I mean? He yeah. don't want to hear it. Okay. Let it go. I'm going to give you up two more new things, and then I'm running. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> One of them is a book called My Mother's Rules. Believe it or not, I used to be the shyest person you've ever wanted to meet. I was afraid to call people. I didn't date until I was in college. I thought the whole world was an arbitrary, incendiary place that burned people love alive. I wouldn't leave the house. I wouldn't date. I wouldn't do anything. But I'm not that chick anymore. And I'm not that chick anymore because I took an emotional journey. I want you to take that emotional journey. Different direction. But same emotional journey, right? Yes, ma'am. There you go. And I'm going to give you making marriage work. Just teach a woman how to keep her mouth closed when it's time. <laughs> Thank and you. teach a man how to keep his ears open when he's supposed to. Yes, That's you. the key to everything. <laughs> I like you people. I wish you both the best. Your past does not define your future. You do. Remember that, yes, OK? Yes, ma'am. This matter is adjourned. Thank you. Thank you. Judge Lynn Toller wants us to stay together, and I want us to stay together, too. But eventually, we're going to have to do something to try to consummate this marriage. Well, I think um, I learned a lot today, and I just think that starting tonight, I'll be a better person, and it'll work. How's that? Because you'll get some. <laughs> <laughs>